Hello guys, and welcome to Matt's Beamer. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to all of those who have subscribed to my channel and who have regularly kept watching it. I can't believe I just passed the 1000 mark. The other day over my social media platforms, I asked if you guys had any questions for me and I am very relieved I had some questions from you. Today, I shall try and answer Matilda Ivanova's question while doing a GoPro drive video somewhere in cold Moscow. The car I will be driving is my BMW F20 116i, which is a 2012 model. I have done plenty of DIY videos, plus an in-depth tour on it. So let's go. Back when I was 15, I was lucky enough to own two cars. One was my pride and joy, which only cost £250. It was a 1985 C-Reg BMW 318i automatic saloon with the 1.8 M10 engine, finished in a beautiful metallic Padras silver with the chrome bumpers. It had the indigo cloth seats, and as usual, the driver's one had worn through. The body was slightly rusty on the front and rear wings and it sat on some 14 inch steel wheels with hubcaps. But for my first car I was really chuffed. It was the first car I ever worked on, teaching myself how to do discs and drums and changing certain parts to do the power steering and also I had to do the heater matrix on it. That is probably why my back's messed up. It was great fun and it was such a good feeling driving the car you saved from the scrapyard. I sold it a few years later for £600. I wish I never sold it. While I had my E30, I had a front-ended 1989 Ford Fiesta 1.1L, which was one of the first Mark III Fiestas. It was finished in the diamond white. It turned out that my insurance quotes on the E30 were far less than the three-door Fiesta. On this car, I learned how to wire a radio in and fit a car alarm. My dad gave his car away to his sister, as it was taking up space. My second BMW was a gift from my best friend Murphy. He was a mechanic and used to teach me everything I knew about cars. He didn't see this car earning him enough money though, so he gave it to me to work on as a project. It was a 1989 BMW 316i Coupe, finished in dolphin grey with silver cloth seats. The 318i had the M40 engine connected to a 5-speed manual. It also had the bottle cap style alloys too. While I had this BMW, I bought my third BMW for £400. I was about 18 or 19 when I had these two cars. My third BMW was a rare 1988 Malachet Green 325i Auto Touring. The 2.5 engine in this car was the M20. The previous owner didn't really look after this car properly, which is a shame. It had the usual silver cloth leather with full electrics, the switchable automatic box, and the very cool check control system. It sat on the very sexy BBS X-Spoke alloys. It needed a bit of work done to the engine and needed things such as the speed sensor fixing. I remember starting it up in the morning and it was so loud. It was a lot thirstier than it should be. It was doing about 7.2 miles per gallon. It really needed a new engine. I believe the guy who bought the car off me for a thousand pound did that, as it stayed on the road for years. I really wish back then I had the ability to work on engines and the space too. At least I still made some money on it. Maybe I'll have another E30 325 one day. Right, um, it's so confusing listing my cars. While I owned the 316i and the 325i Touring, I also had another car, which was a 1987 735 finished in metallic Baltic blue, sitting on the Style 2 alloys. This was fitted with the 3.5 straight 6. Unfortunately, I didn't have this car for long, due to some lowlife vandalising it the first night. 
the 318 was sold before the E32 and the Touring. When I was 21, I bought my first expensive BMW. Well, it was expensive for me anyway back then. It cost me about £5,000 from a garage, who was shut down for fraud a few years later. It was a 1997 E38 740i fitted with the beautiful 4.4 M62 V8. It was finished in a metallic blue with sand beige leather. It was a one owner car who was a doctor. She was more or less mint. Well I thought so anyway. Just before I bought the car it had a new windscreen replaced and it didn't rain hard for about 8 months. When it did rain though the water came in through the windscreen and messed up my electrics. I was quoted £8,000 for a temporary fix and back then apparently only a dealership could do the coding. I lost a lot of money on this car and someone from Russia bought it and exported it to Moscow. While I lost a lot of money on the E38, I bought a bargain E36 320i SE Auto Saloon for my best friend Murphy. I paid £700 since the man before couldn't pay his bill on the automatic gearbox repair. All it needed was a simple fluid change. It was in a dark blue colour with grey cloth seats. It was a great car up until 2010 when I was around about 26 years old. So I had the car for around 5 years. I was waiting at a junction in my local town when a man rear-ended me in his E46 330Ci. The E46 was all smashed up at the front while my E36 had a slight dent but the insurance company still broke my car off. They gave me £800 for it though. While I had this car, I was offered a beautiful E30 318i in alpine white with X spoke alloys on the basis that I'd make this car perfect again. Unfortunately though, due to my other cars on the driveway, I was not allowed to have another one. One of those two cars on my driveway was a 1995 E36 318Ti Compact which I bought in 2009. I bought it cheap since the person before changed the radiator, the water pump, the thermostat etc. I bought it expecting that I would teach myself how to do a head gasket. I only paid £200 for the car. It turned out though that the previous owner didn't fit a gasket to the new thermostat housing. It was a nice spec for the year, finished in Alaska blue with light grey leather seats. I sold this car in 2013 for £900. Another car I had while owning the compact, and just as the 320 died, was a beautiful 1996 323i coupe, finished in a lovely Boston green with black cloth leather seats. The paintwork was amazing and I really enjoyed driving it. It was pretty nippy too. This car unfortunately died due to the head gasket failure. Oh, I almost forgot that I had a Renault Kango which was a 2003 model. It was a 1.5 DCI. It was given to me as a project and only had 40,000 miles on the clock. In 2013, I worked my way down to having just one car. Basically, the E36 Compact sold for £900 and I bought a 2002 E46 318Ti Compact for £1,000. It was finished in a beautiful blue with black interior. I sold that car 6 months later for £1,500. The reason I sold that car was because I was moving to Russia. When I moved to Russia, I didn't have a car until 2016. My wife had bought me the car I am driving now, the 2012 116i. She bought it off her friend with very low mileage. It only had done 26,000 kilometres when I got it, and now it's just clocked over 38,000 kilometres. I hope that answered your question, Matilda. Your second question will be answered very soon on this channel. That question for others is, how did your interest in cars begin? And are your families into car? So basically, I will list all the cars my father had, as he had some special cars over the years. Anyway, I shall let you watch the rest of the drive in peace. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.